Okay, so now that you understand how I'm using and thinking about harmony in the context of beefing up a melody, I want to now take you into how I'm thinking about harmony in the context of selecting and using and learning a new tuning. Okay, now I went into guitar tunings in a lot of detail in the first course, and we're going to be revisiting one of those tunings now, specifically the Dadgad tuning, D-A-D-G-A-D, -A -D -A -D, okay, where we're going to change three strings, the E, B, and E strings, and take them all the way down to Ds and As, okay. Now, I'm going to take a very, very simple sequence of chords here, a sequence of chords that you'll find in most top ten songs. But then I'm going to take it into dadgad tuning, and we're going to see if we can enhance them, extend the voicings, find some voicings that quite simply would be impossible in standard tuning. This is my harmonic approach when using a new tuning, seeing how we can use the open strings that we simply would not have access to otherwise to enhance chord voicings. Okay, I use this when writing, I use this when accompanying, and I use this when uh, quite simply arranging music as well. So the chord sequence we're going to look at is A minor, F, C, and G. I'm sure you've heard a million songs with that progression, okay? Now in standard tuning, it'll all end up sounding quite similar when you play this. It'll sound like many, many guitar players from the 60s onwards that do this. But when we take this into dadgad tuning, we get much different characteristics and a much greater opportunity to experiment, expand, and sound unique sound different from everyone else, okay? So let's use some editing magic now to change into dadgad tuning. Wow, would you look at that? We're in dadgad tuning. <laughs> so that is D-A-D, G-A-D. For those of you that have done the First Steps course and the Essential Riffs course, you should be pretty familiar with this tuning at this point. But we're going to talk about uh, the harmony and how we can expand those chords to make them sound unique, okay? Now, one of the things I like to do in Dadgad is find the basic chord shapes to begin with. In this case, we've got the A minor, the F, okay, the C, and the G, played like this. But when we use those open strings on top, we can start to encourage interesting harmony. Suddenly it sounds much more unique, much more interesting than those cowboy chord shapes we looked at in standard, okay? So we've got that A and D ringing on top. But we have a little bit of a counter melody in the top with the harmony, okay? Now we're going to look into these shapes, expand upon these shapes in little issue to show you how much more interesting an open tuning like Dadgad can be with a chord sequence like this. This is all about giving you your own voice, helping you find your own voice, and hopefully this little bit of insight into my own process can help you with that. So let's take a look at these chords and expand upon them right now. <laughs> 